Why are Chromebooks so fragile? But seriously, you touch a screen and it breaks. You drop your pencil on it and it's instantly dead. Who designed these things? We all know it. Your Chromebook's gonna break at some point. Happened to me. And then Amazon decided to help me for only $27. Let's just get right into it. First, you're gonna need a Chromebook. This is mine. And if I open it, you can see that it does not come on. Although the light does come on near the side, so it not has power. It's just the display is cracked and does not work. Next, we can take it apart. But before that, this is our new display that we're going to be putting in. I looked it up on Amazon with the part number, and this should be exactly it. It's the same size and everything. This one here has a 30 pin connector. Now, if we flip it over, we can start taking the screws out of the bottom. There's quite a few. With this, we're going to need a flathead and Phillips screwdriver. The first thing to do is to remove the battery clip from the circuit board. This is usually a smart thing to do and pops right out. Next, we can just remove these two wires from this Intel chip, and they should pop right off. Then the display protector cable, and the cable itself. The connector part lifts up, and the cable can be removed from that. And then they just stick it down with some glue. Now you can unscrew the hinges holding the display to the Chromebook. Now you can flip the Chromebook over, and the screen should come apart from the body. Use your flathead screwdriver to pry the plastic case from the screen. There's little screws in each corner, and they have little plastic coatings that you have to take off before you can pry it out. Depending on your model, your screen may be held together with some glue, so try prying it apart without breaking the plastic. Remove the four screws holding the screen to the metal bars. Pop out the connector to the screen. This is my new screen. It should be identical to the original. You can open it up and unpackage it. Pop the display cable back into the display itself. Gently place the screen back into the display and screw everything down. If your new screen has it, remove the plastic coating from the new display. Put the screen back onto the Chromebook and face the hinges out. and screw all the hinges back down into place. Jam the display connector back into the Chromebook. It is important you get it in all the way. Connect the two wires that go to the Intel chip. Make sure they pop on. It can be kind of tricky to get them on in the first place. Put the metal plate on both connectors. And once you've got everything ready, you can connect the battery back into the Chromebook. It should just snap right into place. Place all the screws back into the Chromebook and tighten them down. Not too tight though, you don't want to break the plastic. When you're ready, flip the Chromebook over, and for the moment of truth, you can try opening and testing it. If the Chromebook does not work on the first try, you may need to plug the charger in for it to reset. And well, there you have it. Now your Chromebook should be up and running. No problems, no dents, no scratches. All good. Thank you for watching. If you like this, please subscribe. Questions? Post them in the comments. See ya.